All right, so today is going to be a massive day in our supermarket because I'm going to be buying some more products. I think we're going to expand the store potentially a little bit more. And uh, yeah, we got to fill out some of these shelves. Uh, if you recall last episode, uh, I expanded, added some more shelving, and I actually have a lot of empty spots. I've been moving stuff down, so I used to have a ton of toilet paper here. Uh, we've actually moved it down to this side or this corner. I might unlock this next section here today. Uh, well, depend on like how much the product license costs. I think they're like twelve thousand a piece now. Uh, I at least want to get one or two of those too. Uh, so it's gonna be massive today. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of work to do, a lot of stocking. Uh, but you guys seem to really enjoy that, and you guys can continue to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more Supermarket Simulator. But yeah, I've been grinding a little bit off camera, actually quite a bit off camera, just trying to keep everything in stock. It's definitely expensive because of all the products I have, but we're making good money. Uh, don't get me wrong, like, we can afford to do what we need to do today, at least partially. Uh, hold on, where's my oils at? Are they? Oh yeah, they're right here. Yeah, I just, it's back and forth, back and forth, trying to keep everything stocked up. I do notice that, here, let's go ahead and look at the product license. Like I was saying, I do notice that the middle one is beer, which we're going to do that. We're almost to level 56. The right one is cheese. I'm going to skip that one for now because my refrigeration section is a bit of a mess. But there is one on the left that is green beans and a lot of frozen things like ice creams. And I think we can definitely accommodate for both of those. Uh, here in the store so it's gonna be exciting we got a lot to do here a lot of shelves like i might have to actually shut down depending on how much money i have i'd like to shut down and get everything stocked up once again come on people get me to that level 56 i, I really really need it huh I'll stick some fries in here uh, a lot of you guys really like the whole fact that i started using these little end cap shelves uh, i really wish we had a smaller shelf though uh, maybe we'll get it in the future like a single one instead of the double uh, that would be really, really useful for me. But yeah, I will admit, uh, playing off camera, I've kind of got my shelves a little disorganized. I'm working on it, trying to get everything back into place. Uh, to be fair, we did move a lot last episode, and I just kind of let it be. And I was like, all right, well, I just need to work on making money here. Which, I mean, at least we've done quite a bit of that. Uh, we've got a decent bit of money in the bank. About to hit that level 56 here. Also, I totally need to be more careful when I'm stocking. Uh, I think last episode I was on autopilot and I actually threw away some product that was still in the box. And yeah, that was like the first thing everybody noticed. Like, Komodo, you just threw away like, I think it was like chips or something. Uh, I'm going to try not to do that this episode. You just get to that point where you're going back and forth so much that you almost don't pay attention to what you're doing. And yeah, uh, that can be a bit of an issue. Oh, there it is. That's level 56 right there. Ooh, what do we do here? That's a good question. You know, I can also hire a fourth person. Uh, I think that's unlocked. I, I don't think I need it right now, though. Like, the three checkout lines seem to be doing fairly decent. So maybe we do the product license. Let, let's grab one of them real quick. All right, so let's go for the beer one. There we go. Another product license is unlocked. So I need 31000 for the next section of the store. Do we save for that, or do I get more product? I can afford another product license right now. It is kind of a dilemma. I do think I need to expand the store. I mean, look, we still have up to 23 sections, but I mean, product license. I really kind of want to do that. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do the product license. We got $6,000. I don't have any loans right now. I've paid everything back, so we're good there. Let's make or get a big order ready. I can't actually make the order. Like, I need to spend $6,000 in groceries here to get my store completely restocked. But let's look at some of the new items down here. Uh, keep scrolling. Oh, my goodness. So we got a new keg, uh, new six-packs, new vodka, wine now, whiskey. I mean, we're coming like a liquor store here. And then there's a lot of freezer items. New pizza, new ice creams, potato pops, veggie mixes. This is good. Uh, this is going to fill out a lot of stuff that I need. Uh, so I guess I'm going to do two of all the new items here. And I also have a ton of other stuff I need to order. Ooh, this alcohol is going to be expensive. All right. Everybody hurry up and check out. I'm, I'm having issues here. Hold on. Let's go back into our main storeroom. Uh, I got quite a bit from here. I could start stocking. Uh, before we order a bunch of our old items. All right, it's so the next day. We're making our orders for the new items. Uh, I got a lot to go through here today. Like, there's a ton in my storeroom that I know I can stock out here. Uh, so I need to do that. Uh, but I need to also make sure we get a lot of the new stuff. Like, we need this. This is going to make our store 
uh, so much more awesome. Okay, you know, this is fine. This is just a totally normal, like, pile of boxes outside. All right. Uh, grand stocking of the store. Let's go ahead, uh, get some stuff back here stocked up, too. I want to have enough items, like, during the shift, I can keep everything, uh, like, up to date. So, this back shelf. Uh, we need to start here. So, kegs, I think, are going to go on the bottom. Hold on, let's move these potatoes real quick. Uh, ooh, where do we put these? I guess we're going to put them on the edge here. <laughs> I still never have a really good spot for my potatoes, but this, the rest of the shelf's going to be nothing but alcohol. Uh, so we'll save some of these boxes. I might need them. So here's one of our new items. We got frozen green beans. I guess we'll just start sticking them in our frozen aisle here. Uh, does this just fill up one section? Uh, these, oh, these are cheap. Uh, we'll go 350 on these. I think that's a fair profit margin for our green beans we have crispy potato pops those just look like uh wait those are like pretty big they look like tater tots but they look really really large uh let's see 1037 oh my goodness okay let's go 1150 on those i uh, get a profit of 409 on those i think we're gonna double stock these uh, these just look like they would sell like i want some crispy potato puffs or pops whatever you want to call them okay so this is the veggie mix let's go ahead and stick this out looks kind of like a stir fry mix uh okay it, even though it says mediterranean uh it, to me it just looks like stir fry but uh i don't really i'm not familiar with mediterranean food uh, all right, let's go ahead and put this up here. Uh, let's just grab another random box. Okay, this is stuff that we already have. Ooh, look at these. Vanilla and strawberry. These are ice cream. So I want to group my ice cream. I have one ice cream freezer over here. Uh, I kind of need another one. Maybe we'll stock them here on the end cap. Uh, so it looks like just cones. Oh, you get enough for a whole freezer worth here. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, this stuff costs five twenty. Let's go five seventy-five. That gives us a profit of uh, two dollars and sixty cents. I think it's a fair price on those. Okay, got another new one here. We have wine. I think we're gonna stick this to the right of the vodka. I've actually reorganized this. I, I know I've got another one coming. Uh, this is fifteen twenty-seven. Let's go sixteen fifty on the price for this. At seven dollars and fifty-two uh, cents. That's a good profit margin. You know, I had a lot of people in my comment section, they were like, why don't you just sell only expensive products? I do like to try to make the people happy, uh, even though I know it's kind of impossible in this game. Hold on, I'm checking my chicken stock here. Uh, you know, let's get one more uh, area of that. I need to organize those a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you could, in theory, just like sell just the expensive products, but I feel like that's going to hurt you in the long run, uh, to be honest with you. So I, I don't think I want to do that. Hold on, let's get these kegs, got more of these in stock. Uh, I guess we'll save the next shelf for the new alcohol. Oh, uh, there's nothing left in this one. Okay, I had to confirm. I'm a little paranoid since the last episode and screwing that up. So look at this. This is one of the new uh, premium six packs. So we'll stick these up here. Uh, definitely gonna need a lot more of those. What's the profit on this? See, thirteen oh four. My goodness. Uh, let's go fourteen dollars. That'll give me five oh one. It's a dollar more than the uh, other pack or the other six pack that we have. Okay, here is our new vodka. We're gonna stick this. We'll maybe do the bottom two shelves with this. I think I ordered multiple of these. Uh, these are thirteen seventy at market average. Let's go fourteen fifty. Uh, it's five thirty-seven. A little bit more expensive than the previous one, which is nice. Okay, and check this out. We have our new kegs here. Uh, we'll get two shelves of those. How much are these? Uh, Twenty-six fifty-six. Let's go twenty-eight dollars on these. So that's five eighty-seven. That is the same price as the other one. Ooh, this is another new product. We got the the whiskey here. I think we're gonna stick this to the left side here. Uh, to try to fill out this back shelf. This is twenty-two forty, so let's go twenty-four on this. I think we can get away with that. It's five thirty-four profit there. Not bad. And then look at this. I got another freezer uh, freezer item that I'm not really sure I can place here. I'm gonna have to order another freezer because uh, yeah, I'd like to get those out too. Plus, I still have a lot of empty shelves. My goodness, like I thought we were getting ahead here. I mean, we have a lot stuff. A lot of stuff is actually like stocked up pretty well. Uh, but my goodness, there's just a lot still to go here. I got a lot I can fit on the shelves. This is going to be good, though. Uh, it's going to be nice and full. Might not get it completely full off of $1,800. Uh, I would need to make another order here, but I'm not going to open until we're ready to go. 
Like, I don't want people coming up and being like, well, where's this product at? Like, they should be able to find everything on our shelves. Yeah, because look at this. I have new pizzas here uh, that I have to stick out. So, hold on. Let's order another couple freezers. Okay, we got new freezers. Can I sit one here? Is that too... I mean, it fits, but that's a little too tight. I could make a little makeshift freezer aisle right here in the middle in this dead zone. I know I was using that kind of for the lines uh, for the checkouts, but I think... I think I'm going to have to do that here. Uh, I don't really have any other areas until we expand out. Uh, but I need to get these new products on the shelf. So we're going to make like a makeshift uh, little freezer right here on the back side of these. Okay, let's stick out some of these new pizzas. Oh, these look pretty good. What are... Oh, wait, never mind. I see pine pineapple on there. <laughs> oh, buddy. No, we're not doing that. Our $11. I had to charge people $20 for that. That's... Ooh, that's gross. All right, let's put that up. And then look at this, we got our new ice cream here. I'm not really sure what these are. They look like push-up pops, but they have like candy or something on the end of them. They kind of actually look pretty decent. All right, $8 on those. All right, we are almost ready to open up. I'm gonna go through my back storeroom. I'm gonna try to clear the boxes out of the aisles. We're gonna just probably have to spam certain items on the shelves, uh, but it, it's gonna work out here, folks. It's gonna look good. Uh, might Maybe a little bit disorganized, but uh, it's fine. Okay, we gotta open this thing up. I've got a lot of empty shelves still, like, especially in this middle section. But for the most part, if you look around, like, everything is fairly filled out. Like, I really like this back wall here, our end caps, our cleaning section. Not in the best order right now, uh, but we need to make money. Like, we need to make a lot. I could expand this freezer out a couple, too, I think. Uh, maybe we'll do that until we get our expansion, which our expansion is not going to come for another $30,000. Like, I couldn't even take out loans to get that expansion, so I need to focus on what I have here, which we have a lot of new products. Uh, that's the good thing. The bad thing is we have a lot of new products, so it's like, you know, trying to make sure you have everything in stock. I'll just have to kind of wait around, look at complaints, see people like, oh, they don't have this. Uh, but I think I'm pretty good. I think there's at least one of every item that I can order on the shelf right now. Uh, so that's nice. You got like a cereal section here. You got rice, pastas. A little disorganized here. This is like your sugars, salts, uh, flours. Uh, I did stick the teas over here. I had those actually next to the coffee, but I moved those to the back aisle. Uh, there's breads back there. More pastas. Your oils and stuff are here. Uh, these little warm milks. I still do not understand what these are. It's kind of gross. These are on the shelf. Uh, these are here. I probably have more of those I can stock. Also, random mayonnaise up here. Wait, what flour is too expensive? Okay, are you just saying it's too expensive or is it actually... That's not too expensive. That was the one you're talking about. What about this one? This one, not expensive. Actually, this one I could be charging more for. Uh, we're going to reset that to $10. Uh, maybe it was this one? No, even this one. Market price. Oh, I'm behind on these. Uh, we should be making a little bit more money on those. Okay, there we go. Fix those. Yeah, that wasn't too expensive. Like, I was not that far above market price. All right, uh, let's keep grabbing stuff. I'm going to try to fill up some of those empty spots. Uh, because, yeah, empty shelves bug me. And I'm pretty sure uh, you guys, the viewers at home, are probably like, yeah, Komodo, I don't like empty shelves either. Like, you need to have these things filled. Regardless of product, uh, I just, I'm trying to at least keep somewhat organized. Uh, it is not going to be perfect right now, but... Uh, it is what it is. At least we're making money. Hey, you know what I am seeing a lot of, though? A lot of plus fives on my XP, so that means that people are pretty satisfied coming into my store right now. Wow, I have one box of honey uh, cereal in here. I'll stick that down on the bottom. Uh, trying to clear out some of my storeroom, so I'm just walking back and forth right now, just trying to uh, lessen the stock that's currently in there. Uh, and then try to organize it a bit more. I do have it organized, surprisingly, in there. Uh, the middle is like your foods, uh, and then the other sides, you got cleaners on one side and drinks on the other. Okay, I got stuff I can spam in those empty shelves. I need potatoes. You know what? We have a potato shelf. I know there's potatoes on the back wall, but those are disappearing right now. So maybe we do have like a permanent potato section here. So boom, there's potatoes up here. Uh, also, I did order a little bit more of these kegs. Uh, I feel like these are going to be hot items. Well, I say they are. They haven't touched them. You know what? We're going to stick this over here. Uh, I'm not even going to go back to the storeroom. All right, so we got those. Uh, I got some more of those milks, too. Those nasty, warm milks that I, I can't figure out for the life of me why they're on the shelf. Uh, but they do fly off the shelf. A lot of people buy them. Uh, what? Does anybody know what it is? It's like, it looks like, and I think it's labeled as milk, but I don't understand. Like, I've never seen 
milk go on a shelf. Like, that just, it seems very not nice. Hey, at least we ain't gonna run out of potatoes now. I'm just sticking them everywhere. Like, if there's an empty shelf, uh, potatoes are going there. Uh, it's fine. All right, so grab some more potatoes. Uh, we're gonna stick them on. Wait, what was here? Wait, okay, whiskey. Uh, was not there something else here? No, maybe there wasn't. All right, well, potatoes. So you just stick them right there. You know what? Empty, empty shelf, potatoes. Just potato it up. I also th thought I just saw somebody, like, say I didn't have a product. Was that salmon? Uh, I want to say maybe it was. Okay, maybe I don't have that on my shelf, or I just ran out of it. Don't worry, I'm coming to the rescue here. I actually didn't have this in my back storeroom. Let's go stick this in the refrigeration section. But yeah, even with all the buying that we've done, we're still making an incredible amount of money right now. And look at that. The shelves are pretty full now. I mean, ignore this section here, but I mean, the other shelves are pretty full right now. Uh, the only reason I haven't bought that last product license, I am a little worried. Like I said, it's going to take me redoing the refrigeration section here because I need a lot more. It's a ton of cheeses, which cheeses have always been kind of like my Achilles heel as far as keeping them stocked. I get confused between the different styles of cheeses in the game. So I'm like, oh yeah, let's add more cheese. I think I would need a dedicated cheese fridge. Uh, I don't know where that fridge would be. Uh, I mean, I could stick some... I don't think I want to do this on the back wall. I think I need to unlock the next section. Like, I think I have to do that in order to get it to where I want it. Hold on, stick some more of these on. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but, I mean, look at all the people in the supermarket. We make a tremendous amount of money each day. Like, it doesn't take too much. Wait, what do you mean this ice cream is too expensive? This is new stuff here. Okay, you know what? Just to make you happy, how about I'll take a quarter off it. There you go. Will you buy it for a quarter less? Uh, I'm hoping so. Okay, wrapping up another day. Almost back up to $5,000. That's with ordering and stuff. Maybe this isn't going to take that long to get those extra areas unlocked. Even with the stocking that I'm currently doing. I got another big order I'm going to make tomorrow I'm out of certain meats. Uh, I guess I'm going to do more like pasta to fill out these shelves. Um, and then maybe just fill the rest of it up with oil. I mean, those are always kind of hot sellers anyway. So I'm going to get that order prepped up for the morning. Here we go. Look at that. That looks a lot better now. It's the shelves actually looking uh, quite a bit more full. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and open up. We got quite a bit of stock right now. I got a couple things I'm going to need to grab during the day, but uh, for the most part, doing pretty good. Uh, toilet paper section's looking a little crummy, but uh, we'll get that taken care of right now. There we go. It looks a little more full. Let me order some more pastas real quick. We'll get that middle shelf looking uh, fine and dandy here. There we go. We'll just fill these out with the uh, the pasta elbows. Uh, these are actually really popular products anyway. Like, all the pastas always fly off the shelf. The rice hasn't been as popular. Uh, I noticed these have definitely stayed stocked a lot longer. Uh, but pasta, that's a hot seller. Don't make a ton of money from it, but, I mean, they fly off the shelf, so... I guess that's all that matters. By the way, our alcohol section, it's looking a little bit depleted. They've definitely been buying a lot of that. That's good, though. That's really good for the store. And, uh, yeah, once again, we are busy uh, making tons of money. Got new products today. Uh, complaining about the cereal being... I mean, come on. It's cereal. Cereal's actually kind of expensive now. Because cereal's a lot cheaper when I was a kid. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll, no I'll knock it down a quarter there for you. Uh, but, yeah, the aisles look pretty good so far. I uh, just got to keep it going. Got to keep rolling with it. Hopefully, we get some new updates here really soon. I really want to customize this store. Like, there should be a name out front and everything. Uh, maybe some colors. Maybe even, like, change the shelf colors. I mean, I don't mind the way they look right now. Also, putting, like, signs and labels above the fridge would be amazing to have. And maybe some of the little hang down or maybe the tags for the shelves uh, to show, like, what aisle it is. Uh, all things that I hope are coming here really soon, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Supermarket Simulator, and we'll see you guys next time.